Hello everyone and peace of Christ all of you. Please invite your friends. Uh, today we have uh, this uh, Abdul Muhammad Insane from Indonesia. You know, you, you notice that those people when they refute Christian prince, like some of Muslims, they, they say Christian prince in the title. And still, when you listen to them, you, you die laughing at the stupidity or the, the way they, they present things, showing the ignorance. This person, in, in order to, to, to avoid the embarrassment so he don't get my attention, he stopped using my name in the title because he want to speak against me, but he didn't want to tell me I'm talking about you. So I go watch his video and then we laugh. I mean, look at this. Mustahil Christian Bisa Manjawab Bumi. I am Bumi. You are Bumi. Why you are saying to me Bumi? It's Bumi, you and your friends. I'm just joking. I don't know even what Bumi means. Ada Tayanagana Yaya Messiah Allah Tayanganaya Mana. Okay. So how in the world a Christian prince now will know that this video is talking about him? You tell me. You know what I mean? So the trick is very simple. This guy, he would have present himself as a hero, but he don't want Christian prince to say, okay, you know, I came to the stage, where a Christian prince? Hello? See, the coward did not show up. Hello? But he did not call me. Yeah. So let us see what this guy is saying. After saying, Mustahil, uh, Christian, Biasa, Man Jawab. I think he's saying it is impossible because Mustahil is an Arabic word. Uh, Mustahil in Arabic word means impossible. For a Christian to answer this question, mm -hmm. let us see if I Mustahil. It's Mustahil, brother. Okay, so what do you want to say to us? Christian Prince. Mm -hmm. That's me. Will you explain the truth of this? Stop. First, I cannot. I mean, come on. I mean, you put the title in, 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 in Indonesian and you're asking me to explain. And what do you mean I can answer this? It's Mustahil. It says there in the title Mustahil. So it's Mustahil. I mean, it's, it's obvious why you are even making the challenge. You won the debate before we started. It's Mustahil. <laughs> Hilarious. And look at the thief. They call their center Aya Sophia and not ashamed of staying in our church, converting it into mosque. We will have it back. Just don't worry. As soon as this government of the Erdogan is gone, the liberals will come and they will fix it. Just wait. You will see. Forces uh -huh. which exist in your holy book, mm -hmm. according to the book of Job. Hold on. Hold on. Why we don't have the book of Job in the Quran? Isn't you Muslim, you say you have 124,000 prophets. Is Job one of them? Where we can find the book of Job in the Quran? Allah, he dropped him. By mistake, he dropped Isaiah, he dropped Job, he dropped, I mean, you name it, just he dropped everybody. He remember only Muhammad. Muhammad and the guy who made the rock uh, give birth to a camel. Yeah. Okay, what happened in the book of Job? Tell us. Chapter number nine, first number five and six. I like it when you say number nine. Chapter nine, I mean, I could take it easy, man. You will explode before you start it. Say it again. Chapter what? Number nine, first number five. I don't believe it. This is professional. This is, I, I never saw somebody can say the number nine as he does. I mean, that it's perfect. If I try to say it like him, I cannot do that. Sorry. And I can say nine, I can say nine, but nine, that's something. Okay, so what happened in verse number nine? Chapter number nine, sorry. Chapter number nine first See? number five and six the earth has pillars according to the oh no that stop that's disaster so now we know why he was biting the nine i mean the earth had pillars so does the nine need something special special treatment the earth ha have pillars in job chapter nine okay the book of Job, chapter number 26, verse hmm. number 11. Elephant? Verse number 11? I think you mean 11. So, verse number 11, uh, it says what? The haven has pillars. Oof. 
And according to the Psalm chapter uh, uh, number 75, mm. verse number 3 and 4, mm. the earth also has pillars. You can take, take it easy. You know, you see the problem is, when you get a person, you have a brain of a mosquito, you get the talk of a mosquito. Because anyone who opened those chapters, you will see right away that this guy, he did not know even what he's, what he's talking about. As an example, he starts from chapter 9, you know, saying that the earth uh, have pillars. You see, he's talking about the earth is going to tremble, describing how earthquake happen. So earth, yes, have pillar, pillars. This is inside the earth. We are in the top of a tectonic place. It's moving when we move in the top of the uh, magma. So he's not talking the earth is hanged on pillars, the whole earth, you know, the earth, the earth have establishment, base, and the earth shake. And by the way, this is a guy, he is just meditating, he is not speaking science. You see, it's not God even talking, here Job he says. Then Job he said, and he answered, I know it is so of, of the truth, but how should man be just with God. So this person is giving them how amazing the Lord is. So so you will believe only when the when the, the pillars of the earth is shake when there is an earthquake. So he's not talking about the earth is standing in the sky and there's pillars. How we knew that from the same chapter you quote. You quote for us Job 26. And this is a proven to us that you are a fraud because you mentioned that in your video you said uh, job 26 let's go back to your video so there's no way you can say i escaped that i did not notice it i did not see it if we go back to his video you will see he said the following let's go there did he mention job 26 yes he did did he even pass the verse i'm going to show yes he did so how he did not read it is impossible huh. see his pillars According to the book of Job, chapter number 26, verse number 11. Verse number 11. So in chapter, uh, the book of Job, chapter 26, verse number 11. Okay. So how come you did not see it? How come you saw number 11, but you did not see the verses before it? Let us see what Job, verse number 11, saying. Huh? If we read together here, we will see that all you reclaim in your video is is a blank uh, bullet. You are really an, an idiot. It says here, he stretched out the north over the empty space and hanged the earth upon nothing. Do you see it? Hang the earth one upon nothing. So that destroy everything you say. Everything you said is a fraud. The earth is hanged on nothing. Imagine a thousand of years ago, somebody saying to us, it took the scientists, God knows for how long, I mean, thousand of years, to find out what is scientific today, that the earth is hanged in empty space, empty place. Empty. There's nothing. Empty. And hang where? On nothing. Do you see it? So how come you saw number 11, which is here, but you did not see number seven. Huh? Because if number 11 saying that the heaven had pillars, that's mean the pillars, the earth had pillars, the heaven had pillars, they are connected together, there's a column between them. And this is what it's meant, this is what you are trying to say. But the verse number seven, giving you a spank, saying that he stretched out the north over empty space, empty place. And he hanged the earth upon nothing. And this is absolutely true. The earth is hanged on the space, but upon nothing. In where? In empty space. Totally empty. So, when a Muslim, he tried to say something, you as a Christian, don't take him seriously. Always you should know that they are lying. And the reason I say lying, because ask yourself as a Christian, do you think this guy, he was able to find number 11? The one he's complaining about, without seeing verse number 7? You know what I mean? 
It's impossible. There is no way he did not see it. Unless he is quoting from a Muslim post, you know, and if he is doing that, that means he's a kid. You know, this is what kid do. A kid, he, he quote a verse somebody posted in a question, and we make a story about it, right? So here you see, their claim is destroyed in one verse. Because if we have, if either the pillars exist for the heaven or for the earth, that means the earth is not connected in empty space and the earth is not hanged on nothing. But this is definitely, you know, denied in the, in the Bible, as you see. The verse is so clear, it's amazing, and this is something written a thousand of years ago, and this person, he is not scientist, and he is not talking about science. And you know, for us, we don't consider this a science. This is not science. But because Muslims, they speak about science, so here we go, you get the spank you need. Now, if we go to different, you know, the Muslim, even they say to us, uh, the, the Bible says the four corners of the earth. This is make the earth flat. You know, the Quran says that the earth have edges. Four corners is a figure of a speech. And we can prove that this is absolutely false. Uh, you know, a claim from the Muslims that the earth is a flat in the Bible. Because if we go to the book of Isaiah, chapter 40, you will see in verse number 22, it is he that he stitched upon the circle of the earth. You see it? What corners? So the corners here about direction. Do you see it? The circle of the earth. But if we go to the yellow page of Muhammad, we will find the following. And you will see the Muslim, they try to fix what is written in the Quran by adding things between to bracket to make it look nicer. You know? Chapter 13, verse number 41, as an example, it says, this is the Muslim translation, See that, na that we gradually reduce the land from outlying borders. Do you see it? If you change the translation, this is uh, Italian. Huh. Do you see it? Don't they see how they, we deal with the earth? They, uh, they mentioned it, uh, it, it adds edges. So it is you who believe the earth has edges, not us. So what the Muslims, they do, they take things they have in their book and they throw it at us, claiming it is us who have it. It is the Quran who mentioned the earth is a flat. This is why your God, Allah, he come in the third part of the night every day. If you remember, we make a video and the Sheikh, he was answering the person about a Muslim, he answer. A Muslim, he asked question to the Sheikh. He said to him, uh, uh, how Allah, he will come in the third part of the night every night if the earth have many uh, time zones. What the Sheikh said to him, I find that your question is very disturbing. So it is the, obviously Muhammad is the one who believes we have one time zoom. Actually, we can prove that very easy uh, from many, uh, from the Quran and from the Hadith. As an example, here it says, do you know where the sun goes at the time of sunset? I replied, Allah and his apostles know better. He said it goes, I tra travel till it prostrate itself under Allah's throne under the throne and take permission to rise again and then it's permitted and uh, then it will will uh, you know uh, would keep doing that uh, enter the judgment day allah will not permit the sun to go where it's coming uh, where, where uh, the, the normal term uh, which means from the east to the west as usual and he will say to the sun to go back it will uh, uh, is going to prostrate itself and but prostration will not be accepted and it will be asked to go on its course but it will not permit it but it will be ordered to return whence it has come and so it will raise from the west so the sun have to come back from where it's coming from where it's coming from from the west this is how allah described the movement of the sun that's mean we have one time zone because where where the sun goes the sun is gone that's it where the sun goes the sun goes under the throne of Allah. And what it's doing is going to bow down. So the second the sun is gone, it is the same second for everywhere in the world. And the sun now is under the throne of Allah prostrating and then uh, will take a nap or stay there prostrating until Allah he give it permission to go stand up and go again arise upon us. Until one day in the judgment day, the sun will not be allowed 
and then Allah he will order the sun to go back where it's coming from as you see in the hadith and this is by the way explanation for the Quran as you see Muhammad here is quoting the Quran he says and that is the, in, the interpretation of the statement of Allah and the sun runs on its fixed course for for a term chapter 36 verse number 38 so look at this it is the Muslim who believe in this and they throw it at us now do the Quran teach that the earth have uh, uh, pillars because he mentioned pillars in his video right let us go and see the fact yes the Quran mentioned the earth have pillars let us go and take stuff one by one in chapter noon uh, sorry chapter al qalam some Muslims they call it chapter noon depending on the Quran the first verse it says noon what is noon I'm not going to tell you this is the cousin of Muhammad which Muhammad he prayed to be the the scholar of the nation the scholar of the nation so he is the best it says here and from his narration an authority of Ibn Abbas he have an authority and he's the only one Allah he called him the scholar of the nation Muhammad uh, he's regarding the interpretation of Allah saying noon he said noon he says Allah swear by noon which is the wheel that carry the earth on its back <laughs> while in the water <laughs> so this guy he was making a video to show you how brother and sisters in the Bible it says the earth have pillars but he did not notice which is not true this is not what the verse meant but he did not notice that in his Quran and his religion the earth is in the top of a whale and the whale his name is noon and let me introduce for you the whale noon you know like we used to go fishing together this is Mr. Noon. Noon. So you make a video for the Muslims, you found pillars in the Bible, and now you have a concern. Mustahil, Mustahil, Christian Prince can answer this. No, it's your you need it. The book of Job, chapter 26, verse number seven, say clearly, he hanged the earth on nothing. And the, the space is an empty space. Empty. There's no pillars. But it is you who have pillars for the earth and not only that the earth is in the top of noon what is noon it's a wheel who is saying so read carefully sorry noon i have to put you inside the side you he's upset okay let me put you back you know this guy is very sensitive you know you cannot you cannot play games with, with noon he's very huge and he caused earthquake so i'm going to put you here okay are you happy now i right, come on come on you want to be more clear okay hold on hold on okay what you can say i mean noon is very sensitive yeah so anyway it says here noon he says allah swear by noon allah what swearing by what by noon okay what is that noon that must be very important because you always you swear by something uh, uh, you know more important than you like i swear by god because god is higher than me so he says allah swear by noon which is the wheel that carries the earth on its back while in water and beneath which is the bowl oh boy where is the bowl i forgot, I forgot the bowl hold on give me a second i need to bring the bowl now i mean what's happening here we are forgetting stuff we need to bring the bowl where is the bowl soon we will have a zoo here in the screen yeah okay here we go this is the bowl and the whale in the top of the bowl mm -hmm. very scientific i mean that's that's true by the way there is a scientist his name is bowl from japan he found that this is true he found that there is a bowl and he found there is a whale and actually yes if you go in the ocean you can watch discovery channel discovery channel you know you will find really there is a bowl and there is a go just watch them watch them just watch them so it's true you know so anyway as long as this is proven to be true there's no need to discuss to prove it it's proof it's true you know we can just make an article make it true so and and beneath which is the bowl and under the bowl oof, man they say allah is going deep in details what is under the bowl 
is the rock ah, i see the rock here see the rock there's a rock here scientific i mean come on the ball will be standing in what there's a rock hello uh, and then that the rock is dust Ew. mean we are getting now in dusty stuff you know the second you speak about dust you get that's it it's this is very deep i mean that's it we arrive to the dust now so and under the rock there's a dust and look here the honesty of muslims here like they are honest they say and none knows what is under the dust save allah i mean don't even try that's it this is our limit of knowledge do you see it so if we ask like a naik he will say to us uh, <clears throat> Let us uh, call him. Shall we call him, Zakir Naik? I know him. He might be uh, doing some business of his base. You know Zakir. You know, like he's always busy, and he's very famous. <laughs> he is celebrity. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, we are not famous. What we can do? Zakir Naik is the best. Forget about the rest. I'm calling his private cell phone. Hello? I told you to call me. Hey, how in the world you know it's me in a second, man? How, it's a private number. You cannot know that it's me. I always inspired by Allah when you call me. Okay, so Allah inspired you and what he told you. What? Okay, let's see if Allah, he told you uh, what I'm going to ask. Can he do that? Exactly. Allah, you can tell me. You are going to talk to me about how to make hummus. Yeah, make what? Hummus. Yeah, no. Okay, hold on. I'm receiving inspiration. You are going to ask me about women beating Islam. Yeah, no. Okay, hold on. Inspiration is coming. You are going to ask me about how Prophet he went to the seventh heaven in the top of flying mule. Um, no. Okay, give up. But what do you mean? You just told me that Allah, he told you and inspired you. Uh, what happened? Christian Prince, sometimes the inspiration can stop. And even Prophet Muhammad, inspiration for him stop. Okay, but why the inspiration for Muhammad stop? And I remember, he tried to commit suicide when this happened. Is that true? Exactly. And did it happen? Because they bring it to the rhythm. What? Because that they bring the rhythm. I, uh, you know, okay, I will pass with this one. I don't worry about what you're saying. But, uh, but anyway, uh, Zakir, this is not my topic. I, I want to ask you about noon. I know you will ask me about noon. I knew it. But you know what do you mean you know it? I asked you like 10 times and you could not figure out. And then you said to me, you give up. I did not say give up. You know, you said give up. You didn't say give up. You said give up. It's recorded. I told you for the time, don't record me. And then did I give it though. It's not legal and you cannot record me without my paper them. Without what? My permission. Uh, permission. Oh, okay. So anyway, Zakir Naik, it's recorded. What you can do about it? So now, how in the world that the Earth is a flying? Oh, sorry, swimming in the top of a whale. Is there is any proof of that? Great temperance. The whale in the Quran present something very nice. Mm -hmm. Is that like a dream? You are going to, to give me interpretation for it? What uh, present something nice? It's a whale. Is it a whale or not a whale? I'm not going to lie to you and say it's metaphorical. It's not metaphorical. It's a real whale. But this whale is different. It's very big and very huge. And this is why we can't see him, because we are so small. Ah, because we are so small, the whale is so big, we can't see it. Hmm. Can you just explain more? Example, the earth is too big. And we can't see it. You know, we can see it. We cannot see it. No, we can see it. We cannot see it. If you look under the ground, you see only little tiny part of the earth. But you don't see the earth. Uh, you got a point there. Exactly. And only when I get you busted. You have to admit that. Okay, so now we are in the top of the wheel. And the wheel is in the top of a ball. What that ball is doing there? First of all, the ball is very important. If you go to Spain, where? To Spain. Uh, you, you mean the Spanish? Exactly. If you go to Spain, you will find that the the, 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 the Spanish people, they are playing with the ball. And they do that because they are presenting their anger from earthquake. In Spain, there's a lot of earthquake. In Spain, there's a lot of earthquake. And this is why they play with the ball? ball. Exactly. 
because they understand the situation and the reality. And this is scientifically true to your room. Actually, if we open the book of George Bernard Shaw, you will see that George Bernard Shaw, he said that this is found to be true and we find a lot of evidence about it. What is the evidence that there is a ball is carrying there? First of all, the ball is very strong. Yes, this is true. And that exactly explains the ability, the reason for that. Because the ball can very can you know can carry anything, can carry you, can carry your wife, can carry your family. So the ball, but this is the ball we are talking about. It's very big, huge. Mm. Okay, Zach and Nayex, thank you very much for you know for giving us your time. I'm going to hang up on you. Christian Prince, you can't hang up on me. Because now you get busted and now you decide to hang up. And no, I don't want to, you know, that I'm going to give you a taking from your time. I tell you to read for me what's written there. Okay, I will read for you, as long as you are wishing for that. It says the name of the whale is Lewis. Who is Lewis? Lewis is a very valuable name. Other example, in America, you have a guy, his name is Lewis Farrakhan. His name is what? Lewis Farrakhan. Ah, uh, you mean Lewis Farrakhan. Ah, uh, okay. This is, this is the same guy? It's not the same guy, you idiot. Lewis Farrakhan is a human. This guy is a whale. But they have like the same last name. Ah, the same last name, Lewis. Ah, okay. And it says the name of, uh, uh, its name is Lotia. So how come one place, you must have you think it's Lewis and the other name, it says Lotia. Very simple reason. Depend on the location. Add an example. In the, in the Middle East, the, the Christian, they call Jesus Yeshua. In uh, America, they call him Jesus. I got you busted. That makes sense. Okay. And the name of the ball is Bahamut. Bahamut? What Bahamut mean? Great the bread. The word Bahamut can be found in the Bible. Yeah, but the word Bahamut in the Bible is not about uh, a whale. Uh, sorry, a ball. You know? Uh, it's a different story. Exactly. Because you corrupted the Bible. And here Bahamut is the ball. And we are the one who got you busted. And now we know what Bahamut. It is the ball which carries the earth. Okay. The wheel, the ball. Okay. Here it says, and some they say the name is Telahut or Liwana. I mean, how you Muslims, you have too many names for the same thing. Because I told you, different location, we are Muslims all everywhere. There is Muslims in Bangladesh, there is Muslims in Pakistan, there is Muslims everywhere. So everybody has different culture and different name for the same thing. Okay, get your button. Okay, the whale in the sea called Adwad. And then it says, and he is in the sea, in the huge sea, the ball is in a huge sea. And then the sea is in a Hollywood rock, whereby there is 4,000 cracks. How you Muslims know how many cracks under the earth, man? Very simple. You go there and you count them. Crack number one, crack number two, crack number three, crack number four, crack number five, crack number six. Okay, Zach and Nick. Okay, take care. Take care, brother. Zach and Nick, that's it. Okay, that, thank you. Thank you. Forget about this question. I'm not going to, we cannot stay the, the whole day. Car. I, how you are counting the crack? You see them? I can see them, Christian Prince, because they are in my head. <laughs> thank you very much. <laughs> so, you Muslims, you are upset because the Bible says they have a pillars and we just get you busted and you're, this is your Quran. This is Quran. This is the book of God. Whale carrying the earth, ball carrying the earth. And what else? Are we done? No, we are not. We are not. They speak against our book, fabricate stories, but they don't see their book. If we go and read chapter Qaf, chapter 50, verse number one. Hey, insane. I want you to read the Baratar. Christian Prince, not only he spank you, he educate you. I'm sure you learn things you never heard of all your life because you're an idiot. Hmm? So read with me. Uh, maybe you do not know how to read like your prophet. So chapter Qaf, it says that Qaf is an azure mountain. Read carefully. And from his narration and the authority of Ibn Abbas that he said in the interpretation of Allah saying Qaf, he said, Qaf, he says, is an azure mountain overlooking the world, this world. And the color of this sky takes from it. Allah swear by it, by the glorious Quran. See it? So, what is the pillars of the heaven? It is an azure mountain surrounding the earth, and the sky is in the top of it too. And if there is any verses support this verse? Yes, there is many. 
as an example. If we go here, we will find chapter 13, verse number 2, and chapter 31, verse number 10 says, خلق السماوات بغير عمد ترونها Let us see what the translation says. He created the heaven without pillars that you can see. What does that mean? That means there's pillars, but you cannot see. Correct, guys? He did not say without pillars. He said without pillars that you can see. Correct? How that can be possible in chapter of it's explained. It says here it's an uh, azure mountain and it is a blue mountain. This is what azure mountain mean. It's a blue mountain overlooking this world, the whole world. And the color of the sky is taken from it. This is why we cannot see. Do you see it? So we have now a mountain which is azure mountain surrounding the earth. Its name is Qaf. And the sky is taking color from the mountain. This is why we cannot see. So the Quran confirmed that it is you who believe that the earth and the heaven have pillars. Actually, if we go in the Quran, we will find more verses, which is very embarrassing. Not only chapter 31, verse number 10, and the other verse too, but what we go here. How the sky is not filling us how the sky is not fading on us. Do you know? The Quran explained. Let us open the verse and laugh. Chapter 22 as an example, verse number uh, 65. Who is holding the sky from fading on us? Do you see it? This is your Allah talking. If not Allah holding the sky, the sky will fall on us. But the sky is empty space. What's fair on us? We are inside the sky, actually. We are inside this, the sky. We are not outside of the sky. We are swimming. We are just a little tiny dust inside this a huge, amazing space. Little tiny dust as a size compared to the space. So what do you mean he is holding the sky from fair on us? Why? Because he holds it with the pillars, which we cannot see. The Quran even explained how birds are not falling down. How birds, they can go in the sky and they don't fall down. The Quran explained that, which is amazing, brother. Chapter 16, verse number 79. Haven't they seen the birds flying in the midst of the sky? <laughs> None sustain them except Allah. Who is holding them in the sky? Allah. Do you see it? It's not because the birds are having wings and they are pushing the wind under their wings and that make them uh, stay in the, in the sky. No, brother, no. This is not the reason, brother. The real reason, brother, because simply Allah is holding the birds from falling down in the, from the sky. So this is what happened. Always Muslims. They come with the argument, which is they are the one who is infected with, not us. And they claim that it is us who have it. What about the earth is a flat? Hmm? There's tons of verses in the Quran saying the earth is a flat, as an example. Chapter 71, verse number 19. The Muslim then translated as, and he made the earth spread for you. What spread for you? It's not a spread. And this is false translation. It says besot. Besot in Arabic means carpet. Okay. Hold on. I will, I will try something. Excuse me. I will go to the Muslim website, very well known Muslim website. It's called Quran.com. And we will do a trick there to get them busted. When you, when you speak about Islam, you have to work hard to show the proof because they try always to hide the truth. I will put all the translations. So look what I did. I went to this website and I activated all the translation they have in their page. All of it. So now, let us see. Dr. Ghali, Muhammad Ghali, 
and Allah has a, uh, has the earth for you as an outspread rug. Do you see the word rug? Why nobody have it? And why even he put between two brackets? This is what the Quran is saying. It says, be sought. If we go to the front verse in the Quran, chapter 79 as an example, 79 verse number 30, here again they make the, say, and after that he spread the earth. What spread the earth? The haha spread the earth. He made it flat. If we go right now and we get the interpretation for the verse by the scars, not by the translator, what we will see? Let us do that. 7930. Let us go. See, we don't do what the Muslims do. We don't give them our interpretation. We show them their own interpretation. And what the interpretation is saying? This is Ibn Abbas. And after that, he spread the earth. Even he spread it on the water. It's also say 2,000 years after that, he spread on the water. This is Ibn Abbas. Let us see a Jalali. And after that, he spread out the earth and he made it flat. Do you see it? I mean, how clear we can make it more. But you will see the Muslims making fun of the Bible, saying the Bible says the earth is flat, even though the Bible is saying the opposite. The Bible says in the book of Isaiah, clearly, explaining the shape of the earth, how it is, as you see. No honesty, no dignity, all is lies. This is the only thing they come with. It is their book who is full of garbage, crazy stuff, and it is them who make tons of videos about scientific miracles of the Quran. You believe it or not? Uh, we have a Muslim saying CP is a joke of the year. Uh, no, a blue, blue zone, hold on. Guys, you see the Muslims, they like it, they like it, what I can do. CP is the joke of the year. Okay, listen, listen, Blues. I will ask you to find me a better joke for the centuries to come and the centuries in the past, if you can answer this. Forget about the wheel and the earth and the top of the wheel. Forget about it. Brother, I have a discovery for you. Let us see who is the joke. The messenger of Allah said, the man water is thick and white, and the women water is thin and yellow, and whichever of them comes first, the child resembles the parents. <laughs> blue, now we knew why you became a blue, because obviously, I think your father is a blue, right? So he comes first. This is why you are a blue and you are a male. <laughs> You know, I told my dad, by the way, I told him that I know what happened in the bedroom with my mom. He said, behave yourself. My dad is very aggressive, by the way. The second you mention his wife, that said, he might shoot you. And he said, well, the prophet said, uh, and I told him what uh, he said, the, the prophet who told you that is an idiot. <laughs> So now I know what happened in the bedroom. It was my dad who comes first. That's why I became a male like my father and I resemble him. Amazing discovery. This is not a joke, brother. This is science, pure science. So blue, if you look ugly, disgusting, and you don't want your wife to have a son who look like you, don't come first, very easy. Let your wife come first. Right? By the way, Muhammad's wife never comes and we can prove it from the hadith too. So you wanna talk about joke? Here we go, we give you a joke before we finish. Anyway, I want to say thank you guys for being here. May the Lord bless you. And we we'll see you soon again. Christ is our Lord. He is our Savior. His words is wise. His act is holy. His name is amazing. And even the Muhammadan, they are waiting for the Messiah to come. Even the cult of Muhammad believe that the Messiah is the living person for thousands of years while Muhammad is routing in the grave and the bugs ate him. We are following the living Lord. They are following the dead man. A person, he came once to my father and he said to him, you are a person of a great name, great family, 
very well known, very important. We invite you to come and in to accept Islam. The guy who's inviting him is a big sheikh in the city. My father, he said to him nicely and politely, question, where is the Isa now? The guy, he said, the Isa is in heaven. He said, where is Muhammad now? He said, well, Muhammad, he passed away. My father, he said, well, I will follow the living one. This is my answer. It's very simple. Why in the world do you want to follow a dead one when you believe that there's a living one? Even if you think he's a prophet, doesn't make sense. You follow a dead prophet and you don't follow a living prophet. So if you believe, if you are a Muslim and you believe Jesus is just a prophet, how in the world do you follow the dead one but you don't follow the living one? That's amazing. And not to compare between the stupidity and the wisdom of the Lord, that's an insult to him. We can't even compare. We can't even get it close. So we are the followers of the living, walking, talking, living word of God. That is the Messiah. His name is holy. His act is holy. His work is glorious. And no one like him and no one can overcome him. Good luck with that. Thank you. God bless you. And see you soon again.